Hey, welcome back! In this tutorial I'll be showing you what plugins are, how to install them, and how to use some of them. So first of all, what are plugins? Plugins are simply extra things you can install, which will make it much easier and less tedious to use Utau. So with that out of the way, how do you download and install a plugin? First we're gonna go to this site. And as you can see, I've linked it in the description, so go click on that. As you can see, this entire page is in Japanese, but don't worry. Google Translate usually gives you kind of an idea as to what the plugin is about that you wish to download. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be downloading the Pitch Editor plugin, which is a plugin you'll really need and which I'll later discuss in this video. So go ahead and click here. So once you've downloaded your plugin, you can go ahead and extract it into a little folder. Make sure your files are combined in one folder. Next we're going to cut and paste this folder into our plugins folder within Utau. Something that might come in handy is the fact that you can rename your plugins. Most plugins you download from the internet have a Japanese name when showing up in Utau, and therefore it's handy to rename them to something you can easily identify. All you have to do is go to Plugin, and as you can see it has a line here that says Name equals Pitch Editor. This used to say something different uh, for the plugin that I just downloaded. It said something Japanese, but again, because I'm unable to read Japanese, I decided to rename it to Pitch Editor. Next, I'll be showing you a couple of plugins that I personally use when using Utau. All of the download links to these particular plugins can be found in the description, so be sure to check that out. So, how do you access your plugins? Well, simply go to the Tools tab and you'll see this plugins thing, and as you can see, a list will pop up. And these are all the plugins you have installed. Personally, I have quite a number of plugins in this list, but I only really use a handful of them. So the first plugin I want to discuss with you guys is the CV to VCV plugin. This is also called the Lyrics Diphonizer plugin. Uh, sadly though, um, the Lyrics Diphonizer plugin, or at least on my laptop, doesn't really seem to work all that often. Usually it tells me that it cannot read some kind of file extension or something, but other times it does work. This plugin allows you to convert CV Hiragana to VCV Hiragana. And the way this plugin works is simply by selecting a bunch of Hiragana notes, then use the plugin and then it should convert those particular lyrics to VCV. But as you can see I get a error message. I somehow managed to fix it at some point, but for some reason it's back again now, so I'm really sorry about that, but I'll still uh, include it in the download list down below in the description. Another way to convert your uh, lyrics to VCV is by simply downloading the shareware version of Utau. Uh, this version of Utau has a built-in CV to VCV converter. All you have to do is press on this A button right here and it'll say automatic VCV chaining. So if you have a VCV bank loaded into Utau, it'll automatically convert all lyrics to VCV Hiragana. Next we have the copy to clipboard and the special paste to clipboard plugin. This plugin comes in really handy when you're tuning a UST as it pretty much allows you to copy any value of a note that you wish to copy and paste onto a different set of notes. So the way this plugin works is basically by first selecting a bunch of notes that you would like to copy a certain value off. Then go to plugins and go to the copy to clipboard um, plugin. I was a bit too lazy to rename my plugin, but it's this one. Next you select a bunch of other notes, say these or something. Then you go back to your plugins and go to the paste notes and I call it, or well I call it paste notes special, but it'll give me something in Japanese if you haven't renamed your plugin. 
a pop-up list will appear with all types of properties that you can then paste onto the notes you selected. Right now it's set to note number, but as you can see you can also uh, paste the length, the lyrics, the modulation, uh, PBM, which I guess stands for pitch bend something, pitch bend whatever. These are all pitch bend related things, but yeah. I mainly just use it for the uh, pitch bend copy and pasting process, as it really saves you a lot of time when tuning. So say I want to paste only the note number, I press OK. And all notes will be shifted in the exact same note number as the ones that I copied them from. One thing you do have to keep in mind that the special paste plugin will only work if you've copied your notes using the uh, copy to clipboard plugin and not by simply using the copy option that's already available within Utah. Next I want to show you guys the pitch editor plugin which I personally use most often out of all plugins. Basically this plugin simplifies the process of tuning and making pitch bends within Utah. First we'll have to select a couple of notes and then open our pitch editor plugin and this window will show up. Um, our notes are located here, quite a few notes above on the C5 range. As you can see the lyrics are all gibberish but sadly you cannot really fix this but personally I don't really find it a problem when working with this uh, editor. As seen on screen there's a couple buttons down here. Uh, right now it's selected on F because it allows you to manually draw pitch bends however you like. Using the freestyle option can be really handy when making talkloid stuff, but I personally don't really recommend it for regular tuning. So let's undo this with this button, and instead use this option right here, this little plus. The anchor points of the pitch bend notes will now be visible, and you're able to make new ones very easily and drag them around. Make a new one, say I want to do it like this. And if you want to get rid of it, just drag it onto another one and it'll automatically disappear. Other options you have right here are this S setting, which allows you to basically just draw S shapes all the time, but I don't really use this option. And you have this straight line, which just allows you to create straight line pitch bends. I mainly use the plus option. So if you're satisfied with your tuning, just press OK and it'll be applied to your notes. Last but not least, we have the Romaji 2 Hiragana plugin, which basically does what you expect it to do. It converts CV Romaji USTs to CV Hiragana USTs. Aside from these plugins, there's a bunch of other ones you can download for free online which you can then use within Utah. So if you want to check out some more plugins, be sure to go to this particular website that I currently am showing on screen. A link to this website will be in the description. It's basically just a wiki page full of Utah plugins. So feel free to try those out yourself and see what they do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you still have questions, don't be afraid to ask me in the comment section. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye!